Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have some Dollar Tree full farmhouse big lots dupes for you guys. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely stick around, click that red subscribe button. That way you don't miss another Dollar Tree or haul or many other fun things and I don't want you to miss out on any of it. I also want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. You guys, I am so excited to be partnering with them. I have been using HelloFresh for such a long time that when they reached out and wanted to collab, I was super duper excited. So let's not waste any time. I will tell you guys a little bit more about HelloFresh in just a few minutes and let's jump right into today's video. So to start off, I'm gonna be recreating this little pumpkin from Big Lots. And you guys, I honestly cannot believe that they charge so much for such uh, like cheap decor. Um, it looks high end and it's gorgeous, but we can make it for much less. So I start by taking this little monogram pumpkin from Dollar Tree. I take all of the little embellishments off of it, which I, th I believe was only that little um, bow. And it was a little tricky to come off, so I did have to pull and play with it for a couple minutes. It did eventually come off, but anyway, um, once I pulled that off, then I gave the pumpkin a good coat of my, I believe it's Cashew Waverly Chalk Paint. I then took one of those little galvanized metal uh, tags from Dollar Tree, and I gave it three good coats of my acrylic gold paint. Next, I take my truffle Waverly chalk paint and I just paint the little stem. I then take the tag and my transfer from Chalk Couture. Now, don't be like me, you guys, and forget to wash your transfer. So I did end up having to order another one because I forgot to wash it and it just is what it is, but it still worked. So anyway, I took my thankful and blessed uh, transfer from Chalk Couture and I just transferred that on with my white chalk paste. Next, I take a piece of jute. I string it through the hole at the top of the tag and then I set that aside. I then take my little mini finger zip sander and I just go around those little edges of the pumpkin. Um, I wasn't too worried about the orange showing through because I felt that it gave it a little bit of character, but I did just want those scalloped edges to be prominent, so that is why I went in with my sander. Next, I just tie off the tag. Originally, I was just going to try to tie it to the neck of this little pumpkin, or I should say the stem. <laughs> you guys got to bear with me. I am getting back into the swing of things. Whew, things are a little nuts, so just bear with me for a week or two to get used to our new schedule. Um, a lot of you don't know. I was going to um, homeschool Sophia, but we ultimately decided to send her to school, which is really, really hard for me. So I'm not going to go into all that, but point is just bear with me for a couple weeks until I can get used to this because this is a lot of big changes all at one time. So anyway, um, I tie off the jute on top of the metal hanger. I then tie it in a knot, cut it off, and then glue it to the middle of the pumpkin. Now, I have been doing this finger bow trick since I've been on YouTube for years. So I always get questions about it and I did just wanna show you guys once again for all the new people who have not seen this bow trick. So. I'm not going to try to explain it because it is pretty hard to explain, but I am going to show you twice. That way you can see it done a few times. And if you need to rewind and then watch it several times, you can do that and it will be here for you guys. So anyway, I'm just going to let the music play and you guys can see how to make a simple, easy finger bow.
once I clipped my ends into a dovetail, then I go in with my hot glue and I just glue that bow right on top of the pumpkin, um, kind of on top of where I laid the jute down and glued that down as well. And then literally, you guys, that was it. For a dollar and some change, you guys have a high-end looking decor piece that you can of course buy from this store but you can make for much less so i know you'll let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and which project was your favorite So once again, I would love to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. You guys, I love that these meals come right to my door. I don't have to spend all this time in the grocery store. And I don't know if you guys know this, but it takes the average person 41 minutes to shop. And I don't know about you guys, but I could be spending that time putting out content and making DIYs for you guys. So with HelloFresh, you can get mouthwatering seasonal recipes that are fresh, pre-measured ingredients that are delivered right to your door. And it is also America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. And like I said, they deliver the fresh ingredients straight to your front door so you don't have to worry about anything. HelloFresh recipes are so delicious, you guys. I actually used HelloFresh before they sponsored me. And I know that a lot of you are like me. You're super busy. You've got a lot going on. So this just takes the stress out of shopping for me. And I enjoy it so, so much. So HelloFresh's recipes are so delicious, like I said. Plus, they have so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. Because honestly, I don't know about you guys, but I am so tired of eating the same things over and over so again. How do you get HelloFresh, do you ask? Go to the link in the description box below and then type in the code ALLTHINGSCRAFTY14 for 14 free meals over the course of five different boxes. So you guys, this is best deal that they've had i know that you guys will love it as much as i do it saves time it saves money and it's super easy so with all that being said don't forget to go to hellofresh.com and use the code allthingscrafty14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping So I start off with my harvest transfer. Now, obviously it's not the same uh, saying that was on the original piece that we are duping, but I didn't want mine to say that. I could have um, figured something else out. Like if you don't use chalk couture, you can always print them off of your computer, use graphite paper and then transfer it on and go over it with a paint pen that way. But you guys, I don't have that kind of time anymore. I wish I did, but I just don't. So anyway, I cut off, I cut up, <laughs> I cut up my harvest transfer and then I take three of these Dollar Tree signs, two of which we're going to cut that little pumpkin off at the top. Once I had them cut off and I cut them by just scoring them with my utility knife. And if you score them about probably 10 times, they pop right off. Once I had all the pumpkin or two of the pumpkins cut off of two of the signs, I then attached them all using some hot glue and some large popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree. Okay, y'all, change of scenery. <laughs> this video has every different angle. So you guys can let me know in the comments down below which uh, filming spot is your favorite, I guess. Do you guys like it overhead? Do you like it um, sitting on the floor? Or do you like 
the angle from the side so anyway I take it to the floor because this sign is so long you guys so I laid out my lettering and then it was still a little bit too long so I did just cut off a portion at the bottom and then I taped off three different lines and painted those at the bottom with my moss waverly chalk paint I then repeated those steps for the top of my sign and now it's time for the fun part so I start with my H obviously and I transfer on the letter with my white chalk paste and then for the shadow part I do use my black chalk paste now like I previous said previously said good lord <laughs> surprise surprise what else is new Melissa can't talk <laughs> but um like I was saying a few minutes ago that you can always just print uh, images off of your computer and then use your graphite paper which I used to do all the time but you guys I fell in love with chalk couture because it just simplified my life so much and you also can't get these really nice details when you use graphite paper and a paint pen so I do enjoy the fact that I can get a little bit more detailed and I can also create really high-end looks and I can use these transfers over and over and over again as long as you take care of them you can get upwards of like 50 uses out of these so I know that the price looks a little bit scary but I promise you guys it's worth it in the end because you can use these for years to come so anyway I transferred on all my lettering instead of the A I did the little pumpkin and then at the bottom I transferred on that little I guess these are like wheat with my gold chalk paste last but not least I go in with a little bit of greenery and glue that down to the bottom and then I painted a pumpkin that was on the skewer from Dollar Tree this was the larger pumpkins so I painted one of them with that moss color and then I left the other two that natural um, like cream color and then I go in with my antique wax and some and my ch mini chip brush and I just dry brush all the way around those pumpkins just to give them some dimension. Next, I just use my hot glue and I glue those down to where I like them. And then that was it for this project you guys I have it hanging right in my entryway I love it so so much I cannot believe that I made this for around five dollars I love it with all my heart you guys know my favorite saying but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think would you buy one from Big Lots or would you just make your own Okay friends, moving on to the last but not least project. I have seen everybody making these book stacks and I knew that I had to try my hand at one since the one from Big Lots was $12. I knew that I could make mine for much less. So if you guys can't find these little crates from Dollar Tree, I did find these little nesting crates from the Target Dollar Spot. So this is definitely an option in case you can't find the ones from Dollar Tree. And two come in the pack for five bucks from the Dollar Spot. So I thought that was a really good deal because they are really nice quality wood and they're pretty decent size. So anyway, I start by taking the sticker off of the little tray from Dollar Tree or I should say box, whatever you want to call it from Dollar Tree. And I paint it white. Next, I take my Chalk Couture Transfer. Now, I did have the Grateful and Blessed one, so I could have used it, but I wanted mine to say something different. So I did use the one that says a crisp 
breeze and autumn leaves so I did the crisp breeze at the top and then at the bottom I did the autumn leaves and then in the middle I did the and and the little leaves for the wording I used my black chalk paste and then for the and and the leaves I used my jade chalk paste which is that green color I used my shimmer pumpkin which obviously is that orange color next I go in with my mini chip brush and some ink waverly chalk paint and I just dry brush all the way around the book stack I then took this wallpaper from Dollar Tree and I just trace it out and cut out a piece for the top and then I stick that down to the top. Once I was done, I did just have a little edge to cut off with my scissors. I then go in with this buffalo check ribbon. I start by gluing it to the inside and then I wrap it around and glue it as I go. Okay guys, so we are almost done and if you guys are still here, would you mind leaving me a orange heart in the comment section below so that I know you're still here and if you can't find a heart, then just go ahead and say orange heart. And to finish off this project, I just made another simple bow with that same exact buffalo check ribbon, and then I glued it to the front top of the book stack. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved each and every one of these projects so, so much. As usual, I can't ever find... I can't ever pick a favorite, so let me know in the comments down below which project was your favorite. I would like to thank HelloFresh once again for sponsoring today's video. I am so grateful to all my sponsors, and I love working with them, and I hope that you guys enjoy the products that I bring you, because I do only like to bring products that I know that you'll love and use. So, with all that being said, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it as well because those shares and those thumbs up really help my channel to grow and help YouTube to notice me just a bit more. And if you haven't subscribed and become part of the family, you might as well just click that red subscribe button. That way you don't miss any fun moments here on my channel. And with all that being said, once again, if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely stunning and gorgeous. You are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.